Okay, so I decided this is the same weekend I went to the zoo yesterday and uh, today, Sunday, I've recharged my battery. Um, so I've come for a walk to lose weight and make the best of the sunlight in the day, although I didn't really... I've done gold list this morning quite well and uh, used a lot of the day on that. So today I'm... I started about 20 minutes past one. Um, it gives me enough time anyway to have a nice walk in the light and do a film. So this is... St. James's Street, Jakobska. That must be something to do with maybe it's St. James's Church, as you see, there's a, a clock tower up there. It's just timed the half hour for half past one. Looking back, that's towards that um, Kotva, you can see in the middle there. So, this is the street behind Kotva where the uh, Shanghai restaurant is. Um, going down to for the best fish in Prague. Um, just wanted to, there's a Jala Rossa cafe. This is an interesting thing, I just wanted to start filming here. Um, you can see there the, like a tree with a, a red, well it's probably a piece of plastic really in it, representing almost a kind of, um, well, I'll tell you what I think it represents. It may not necessarily represent this, but uh, the artist may have had something else in mind. What it is, it's a shop, um, offering window dressing, um, so it's um, modern art windows. So you can see all the mountains and what have you. There's like a, a twig in the middle holding that red, that red stone. But what is it? What does it actually signify? Well, for me, there may not necessarily have been the, uh, the intention of the authors, but for me, that is the red beret that they used to put on trees, call them liberty trees, during the time of the of Napoleonic period and the French Revolution and everything. Why do I assume that that is the case? Well, because on this side you've got a, 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 a red hat is the name, it's nothing to do with Linux. Red hat, chapeau rouge, or red berry is the, is the name of uh, that uh, a business in there. And the whole of this here, chapeau Ooh, this is all supposed to be about that. You've got the a bit of strange art here going on. Here you've got like a kind of d dinosaur holding a, a huska, which has gone very mouldy. You've got a David Cherney style baby with an old style toy which has still got the holes in the stomach so it can say mama from its stomach. Dressed in I don't know what strange goggles and old stuff like that. But they seem to have produced some... This is like the horrible things that you see on Toy Story with that chap, chap who lives next door to Andy. Um, rather, rather disgusting, actually. There's some. There's a skull with some candle wax gobbed in the eye, and there's Hannibal Lecter's mask up there um, with a bit of extra war paint added. Um, some anatomical things. There's a a little baby dismembered in a vase there with. Uh, with a with a swastika on his head are basically the most distasteful stuff that I've ever seen put together in a single window. Really horrible, really disgusting so-called art. There's more of the same with this another baby doll with a sort of crown of stars and uh, trying to imitate the crown of thorns of course and it's got some very nasty alcohol again with a gratuitous cross painted on the top and speedo goggles that have somehow been covered in chrome and some other strange thing here um, a baby that's had some kind of marine mollusk pasted to its head and again dismembered and put into a bottle um, uh, supposed to represent no doubt formaldehyde solution and uh, yeah You've got another skeleton wearing goggles, this time wearing sun uh, solarium goggles, another stupid uh, um, crown of thorns arrangement on the head, holding an old uh, high fidelity for music and voice 90 minute music cassette that I can still remember from my childhood. And strange things like odd shoes, a bloody hand with a sword through it, um, some strange perfume thing and a syringe and something trying to... this really actually really horrible 
nasty um, and really to do with what you might expect from anything that had to do with the the French Revolution and the ideas which spawned the French Revolution and that whole um, idea of, well, underneath the mask of liberty enslaving people more than they had ever been enslaved before. There's an old TV. This one's actually quite interesting because it's obviously a Russian make of old TV, Grompest and Nastroika. So there's an old Russian, old Soviet make TV there. Contrast and Yarkest, Vikl, I don't know, Ukvchm, what that's supposed to be. Oh, I suppose it's different types of music setting for uh, different types of program that come on. You can press which combination of treble and bass you think is more appropriate for the program which is going on at the time. So obviously that was not the most basic thing. No doubt that was something which, if you'd been in the party, you'd have been able to buy that. If you'd been an ordinary person, you would have basically had to uh, queue up for it and wait till there were enough to go around for everybody and uh, you would have been able to spend some of your meagre salary no doubt for several months on a TV like that. And when you got it, of course, all it would ever do for you is pipe into your home um, so many hours a day of communist propaganda. Some of the streets that are here, very central to Prague, here's the old tin church from behind. But I don't tend to go here normally. I don't tend to go the sort of tourist route that much. So uh, today being Sunday, only my second Sunday ever in Prague. The last time I went to the zoo was a Sunday. Also, I had plenty of work to do. I don't have quite so much that I need to do today, so I can give it more of a walk. So it's the same the first time, I suppose, that I've ever really had the chance to have a proper walk, see what Prague looks like on a Sunday. I explained in the zoo thing yesterday how it comes up to be that I'm here on a Sunday. I don't normally find myself here on a Sunday. And, uh, there we go. I'm not sure if this is that back of Tin Square or what. There's, oh, Stupartska. And, uh, there's the back of Tin Church. If I go that way, then I'll come to sell it now I suppose and I know what that looks like well enough so let's go this way instead looking up at the gothic magnificence that is Tin Church and uh, avoiding the traffic to the extent that I can there's lots of little arches and nooks and crannies around this part of Prague very little space to do anything like park a car so I dare say that unless you've got a reason to be here for one of these churches or something there's not much oh here we go Right. Well, whatever was here before is not here now. I wonder what that was. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the place possibly over there where um, where Deloitte's used to be isn't it? Long long time ago isn't that right? I think when I was finishing with BDO I think I had an interview with them there back in 2000 uh, March or February 2000 it was an awful slog driving down in the car met them there, they were all very pleasant 
American guy to, to be in charge of it all uh, because they had it was about being part of Deloitte's or being setting them up a Poznan office um, and basically I uh, I feel a, a tad, you know, annoyed with Deloitte actually about what happened in 2000 then because, I mean, first of all, there was no mention about possibly covering travel or anything like that or, or uh, accommodation. Coming all the way down to Prague for an interview, they paid nothing back to me. Um, I had the interview. Um, they, everything seemed to go well, but... I think I saw them still in February because if it wasn't, it was early March, and they didn't get back to me until the middle of May. And this was after I had repeatedly said to them, "Look, I am about to finalise with somebody else um, because you're not um, you're not getting back to me. I'm not hearing a yes. I'm not hearing a no, and so therefore I can't make any assumptions, and I'll have to go with the other with the other job that I've been offered." Told them that. No response, left messages, wrote emails, no response whatsoever. And uh, so joined Clean Away, as it was then, um, and started in May. Two weeks later, um, I got um, a call from them saying, oh, here's your offer then, and would you like to, to start? Well, obviously, had I realised that Clean Away were going to do the dirty on me, precisely uh, 11 and a half months after that just because they had had a, you know, the partners had decided to disinvest from one another and one take one business, the other take another and then they didn't need internal audits anymore. Had I known that they were going to do the dirty on me after I'd given them an awful lot of value I would have probably said sure, I'll come and set your Poznan office up. After all, I'd rather be in my profession than in internal audit, which isn't really my profession. Although subcontracted internal audit still is, I think, fine for me. If you want it done, I can do that for you. But I don't want to become an internal audit department anymore in anybody's business and do that forever. Thank you very much. And so, had I known that, but of course I didn't know that. I took my opportunity with Clean Away at face value. So I just basically said, sorry, but it's rather too late, isn't it? Uh, this was on the cards months ago. And uh, in the meantime, I've moved on. So a friend of mine called Jacek Mateo was used instead, whom actually they knew of through me. And I had neither any expenses for my trouble, neither did I have any finder's fee for Mr. Matea. So there we go. That's uh, a legitimate grievance, isn't it? Um, that having been said, um, if that was all that I had about Deloitte's to say, then that would be little. But as to them together with many other parts of the uh, of the big four they have very strange practices which I could go on to, into on another occasion right once again the inevitable entry into the big old town square good point to break off and come back on again so that because there's no way that I'm going to be able to uh, um, do it all on one go. So these segues will will be a nice segue into the next uh, into the next section.